बिस्मिलीम एंड असलम फ्रेंड्स आई एम उस्मान चौधरी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एक्सप्लोर टूडे आई रिसीव अ टेक्स्ट मैसेज फ्राम वन ऑफ माई फेसबुक फॉलोअर मिस्टर अजय एंड ही वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ टू मेक अ गेयर मेड इन सोलड वर्क असम्बलीज फॉर हेलीकल गेयर सो लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम ओपन सोलड वर्क एंड दैन फ्राम टॉप लेफ्ट साइड क्लिक ऑन न्यू एंड दैन डबल क्लिक ऑन दी असम्बली नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Close this dialog for begin assembly, and then on the left side, click here on design library. From here, select toolbox, and then you can select input method NC inch or NC metric. So at the moment, I am going to use NC metric. Then scroll down, and from here, double click on power transmission. After that, double click on gears. So first option is for helical gears. Click and drag this gear in the assembly, and then in the left side here are the options for this helical gear. So scroll down. First of all, this this is the module. So select module one. Then there are number of teeth. Select your desired number of teeth. So at the moment I am selecting eleven. Then again scroll down. and here is the direction so for this gear uh, leave the uh, right hand and then uh, this is helix angle so type here 45 degree then here is the pressure angle you can select 14.5 or 20 so at the moment i am using 20 then again scroll down here is the face width so total length from this face up to this face so you can edit it 15 then scroll down here is the uh, hub style so you can select for both sides here is the hub diameter 20 and then our all length for the hub shaft type here 35 and then scroll down and these are rest of the options for this gear then press okay button to create this gear so we need only one gear close this dialog again go to design library and then again click and drag this gear in the assembly now we have to create a larger gear so again from here scroll down module 1 number of teeth are 22 so at this time we have to re reverse the direction for helix so instead of right handed uh, select left hand and then leave the rest of the settings as they are then press okay button to create so uh, we need only one gear close this dialog next step is that as we had uh, created this gear first so it is fixed it could not be moved right click on it and then make it float then press and hold control key from your keyboard and select this face and this face and make the relation coincident then again press and hold control key and then select this face and right plane now make the relation coincident after that click on this face and then sketch on it now make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw a line and start it from origin horizontal line and then press escape button now define this line 21 mm press escape button now press this button to save and exit from sketch after that press and hold control key and select this cylindrical face and this point make their relation concentric similarly select this cylindrical face and this point and make their relation concentric select this face and then make normal to so from here you can see we have to extend the length of this line 
for that click on this line and then sketch uh, edit it instead of 21 type here 23.5 millimeter and then save and exit from sketch now press uh, this button for rebuild now it seems to be ok so now what we need to do is to hiding these extra lines so click on them and then hide them one by one next step is uh, to creating a mate so for that click on mate option here and then scroll down from here select advanced mates and in the advanced mates select gear now select this cylindrical face and type here number of teeth 22 then select this cylindrical face and type here number of teeth 11 then press ok button again press ok button so this gear mate has been created for our helix gears now you can verify it so this is how um, we have to create gear mates i hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time